We're addressing the issues and a great many questions associated with Monday's terrible shooting at the Navy Yard in Washington, D.C., uh, and really saying that we're not going to prejudge this yet. We're going to let the investigation move forward. There is new information this morning, though, on the serious red flags that were raised about Aaron Alexis, the gunman in Monday's deadly rampage. We're learning that the man who opened fire at the Navy Yard killed 12 people had a well-documented history of mental instability. Police, in fact, alerted naval authorities about a bizarre encounter with him at a Rhode Island hotel six weeks ago, during which Alexis claimed he was hearing voices. He was being followed. We also know he visited a psychiatrist at the VA hospital twice in the last month, and now new concerns why all of these warning signs the Navy didn't revoke his security clearance. Michael Balboni joins us, former director of Homeland Security for the state of New York. He's also a senior fellow at the George Washington University. Indeed, good to see you. It was a Rhode Island sergeant who picked up the telephone uh, several weeks ago, and he called the Naval Station Police and said, this guy is hearing voices, he says. You know, microwave machine is keeping him awake. He's got people he thinks is following him. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of the red alerts here, and yet he managed to keep his security clearance and get on the base. Right. At a certain point in time, you combine it, obviously, with what happened in Seattle and then what, what happened in the early years. Weapons were involved in these rages. You have all the indications that this is a real problem. So the question becomes, when that report gets up, where does it go? Who's looking at it? What do they do with it? And what type of system is in place to throw up not just a red flag, but an immediate red flag that says, let's look yeah. at this guy's clearance and his access right now. And, you know, and they had weeks to do it right. uh, because it was several weeks ago that the phone call was made. Um, criminal record of re arrest relating to gun violence. He gained and kept his security clearance. Here's how the New York Times put it. Time and again, Mr. Alexis's behavior fell below a level that would have brought a serious response like a less than honorable discharge from the military or involuntary commitment to a mental institution, experts and officials said. Does this suggest a systemic problem, a flawed system that needs to be desperately corrected? Certainly when combined with the Snowden revelations, you know, here's a guy, obviously a, a different situation in terms of, of, uh, of the danger, damage he did, but nonetheless it still raises the question of what is the criteria we use to give clearances for these individuals who work in sensitive facilities and what is the system overall and then the big question is you know there are millions of people that have clearances right so are there other 4. people out there nine million have security clearances so, as contractors so how many other people out there possibly could god forbid have these types of situations and what are we prepared to do about it yeah you know the other point is and somebody was asking me as a lawyer the other day saying well i mean does it require a judicial adjudication in order to red flag? And, and the answer is, in a lot of states, it does. Simply seeking treatment for psychiatric illness isn't enough. You can still get your hands on a weapon in Virginia, right, for example. Right. Well, you have a lot of impediments. But remember, a security clearance is not a right. Security clearance is probably the most subjective thing that the government can give. Right. And at any time, you can revoke a security clearance based upon information you've received. There's no, no property right associated with a security clearance. Right. And yes, you do have HIPAA requirements, but all of these indications that have been throughout this file should have at least have alerted somebody, review, bring the guy in. Does he still need the clearance? Right. Michael Balboni, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too. Jenna?